yesterday. Chinese food the day before, and Japanese food the day before. Do you know how much variety nowadays? <laughs> First of all, Indian cuisine's reflection in this culture and religious beliefs. But I'll let us stand good as well. Most Indians in India follow Hinduism. That practices vegetarianism as Hinduism prescribes respect for all life forms. Mm. However, as you mentioned before, youths like yourself prefer others like Japanese and Western cuisine. Besides that, youths don't really explore the cuisine because of their personal preferences. Oh, yeah, you're right. Thus, what better way to convert you than letting you taste the culture? Today, we shall eat the most iconic Indian dish in Singapore, the Roti Prata. Wow! Roti Prata, which means bread flat in English, is a South Indian flatbread made by frying stretched dough flavored with ghee. Hence the name Roti Prata, which is usually served with mutton or fish curry and sugar. So good! So good! It's crispy on the outside and soft on the inside! It was introduced to Singapore by Indian immigrants. It is said to be either of Punjabi origins, as wheat dishes feature prominently in the Punjabi diet. It might also have been introduced by the Muslim conquerors, who also specialized in making various types of bread. Regardless of its origins, roti prata has become an essential part of Singapore's Indian cuisine. Roti prata can also come in different variations besides plain and eggs. It can come in cheese, chocolate, ice cream, and even durian flavors. It's due to the power of progressiveness. The Indian food culture is slowly fading in Singapore. However, you can help conserve it. Support our cause by patronizing and recommending an Indian restaurant to appears. Post pictures of mouth-watering Indian dishes on social media and use the tag Swadish Cuisine. On behalf of our slash Indian food culture, thank you for watching.